Okay, let me show you how to uh, create homework um, in um, Course Compass. I've gone, I went ahead and went into my course, and um, there's a course tools down here. I go into that, then you see there's an assignment manager. If I click that, I don't have much luck uh, doing this in IE, so that's I'm over here in Chrome. I think this is Chrome. <laughs> um, I got Firefox on my computer also. And then I'm going to create uh, assignments. So I click that. And I'm going to say create homework. And um, maybe I'll call this section, I don't know, 2.1, let's say. And um, I'm going to click next. And up here, you can choose a chapter. So I'll choose chapter 2 section I'll choose 2.1 and it pops up with all the different problems and you could narrow it down here you can choose objectives um, and then solve the equation by using distributive property or whatever um, yeah, that's good there okay now if I want to um, scroll down here see there's a preview and add Assuming I didn't have to mark, flag them all to begin with. I don't do this real often. Pops up with the different different questions. And determine the given li equation is linear. Uh, I don't like that one, so I'll click next. Determine the uh, 20 is a solution. Uh, yes or no doesn't work well, and I don't think online, so we do a next. Um, next. Uh, next. Next. Okay, here's a solve the equation. So I'm going to click the Add. I like that one. Here's another one. Maybe I like that one, so I'll click Add. Um, click Add here, Add, and you keep going through adding all the ones you want. Now, um, once you um, get get the whatever one's added that you're looking for, you just close that window, and you see you got uh, the problems here. Now, if you're keeping track of your grade book on um, Course Compass, and you can you can worry about these grades here. Um, let's see, I'll give them two points each. So I'll put two points there, two, and two. You probably, unless you like uh, doing it in a spreadsheet, you probably find it easier to use a grade book. Now, somehow this will probably be merged into the Blackboard, but don't know the details of that yet. Click Next. You tell when it's available. So that says it's available at 611. Let me make that. Click the clock here, and let me say 6 a.m. I made that available. Due date. Click that, and I click, uh, let's say, the 14th. And midnight's fine, I guess. Uh, late submissions. Allow students to work and uh, change score after the due date. So you can mark that if you want, want that. Um, and there's different options here. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Prereq none. Limit number of students, number of times students can work each question. So you can limit that. Um, right now, there's no limit on that. Now, that does not mean that they get the same question over and over. And we'll talk about that. Um, indicate and lock all answers. See, save. You know, you, you can go through that. I'm not going to go through all that. Click save and assign. Okay, so we just created that homework assignment. Now, from the student standpoint, they'll come in. Uh, to the course, and they'll go directly to this homework link. Pops up here, and then they can click that, and then they can click the first one. A lot of different options over here. Help me solve this, view an example, so forth. Let's say I don't remember how to solve this one. 2x minus 8 equals 3. If I click view an example, It'll give me one with different numbers and say, okay, steps to do this and say continue. Uh, step one, eliminate any fractions, don't have any. Uh, step two, simplify each simplify each side of the equation as much as possible. Step three, use the addition property of equality to get all terms of variable on one side. So I click next. And then step four, use multiplication. Step five, check by substituting. So it's uh going through giving me all my steps okay and step one and two do, do not apply then it comes up here um, and it tell, shows us um, we got plus five we add five to both sides 
and you see it's walking through uh, showing you how to solve the problem and even how to check it okay and you think okay that's fantastic now I know how to do it so I click here and I say solution is three click check answer comes back says okay that's not correct I think well that's weird um, level four and check answer okay you're sitting there well I don't know how to do it obviously well then the student can click uh, um, help me solve this and that'll take that exact problem and walk him through what they need to do so I click continue 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 I'm going down through the steps okay step one do not one two do not apply first thing you want to do is isolate the terms of the variable x by using properties of equality you get uh, 2x is equal to so simplify your answer, type an integer or a fraction. Well, if we add 8 to both sides, then that would give me 11 here. And check answer. It says, good job. Now let's say continue. And doing this, you obtain. So, um, type your, I wonder how you do a fraction here. Uh, divide both sides by 2, we get 11 halves. I just did divide and automatically put it in fraction form. And then say check answer. And you think, okay. Then we check it and close. Notice it gives me a different numbers so I can sit there and work it myself now. Add 4 to both sides, it gives me 6, divide both sides by 7 and I get 6 sevenths. And I say check answer, it says good job. Okay, and then you can um, click 2 to go to the next one. So this is what the students would uh, see. We looked at help me solve this, view an example, there's a little video they can watch so they could uh, see how to work it animation I'm not sure about that uh, textbook would take them directly in the textbook where the information is connect to a tutor uh, I'm not that uh, knowledgeable in um, in course compass you'd, you'd be better pressed or better to ask somebody else about uh, <laughs> the details of course compass like uh, April or Brooke um, ask my instructor we'll email the instructor and then print you can print off the, the problems but anyway that's how to create homework and what the, what the student will see now, um, this will, does not work well if you're planning on them working uh, on their homework in the last part of class, unless they have computers in the classroom. So you either need to um, use a mixture of my math lab plus the paper, or um, have um, paper, paper worksheets for them. Again, if they have computers in the class, who cares? Now, you're not required to use um, uh, my math lab for the homework. If you like paper and you want to do everything out of the uh, the book, then that's fine. Uh, this is just an.